it's much more stronger and it's highly contagious so all of you please please take care of your health and because sometimes it can come from you to your parents so you have to be very careful keep washing your hands and always whenever if possible don't go out but if you go please mask yourself okay so here my screen is visible now yes, yes ma'am ma yes, ma okay we'll see this video okay and voice is not audible voice is not audible not there yes 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 i just remembered one second i have to take the tab only if i share instead of entire screen now no one second one second now is it visible yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. so war nobody likes to fight in a war is it audible nations can sit together to find a solution yes ma'am yes ma'am fighting with each other yes ma'am that could save a lot okay yes ma'am okay beta sabko yes nahi bolna hai i will tell only i will nominate one child in each period okay so today i am telling only renuka will give me the feedback okay shivam ab apna mic mute karo beta ठीक है आप सीख लो माइक हमेशा म्यूट रखते हैं ठीक है जब तक टीचर आपका नाम ना ले एंड अब नहीं आई कैन सी योर माइक आल्सो ऑन यस थैंक यू सो विल सी एंड वन थिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू सी सी टू इट दैट व्हाट दिस लेडी इज टेलिंग यू कैन कीप अ रफ कॉपी इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड यू कैन राइट डाउन द लैंग्वेज व्हिच इज यूजिंग एंड यू कैन यूज इट इन योर आंसर्स इन योर लॉन्ग आंसर्स एंड ऑल इट विल एनरिच योर इंग्लिश okay so not you not just watching the video and hearing it you're also going to note it down okay so ma'am voice is low kiski beta acha theek hai i'll increase the volume now is it okay ma'am your voice is clearly visible kya beta anmol kya bol rahi ho aapki voice bilkul sahi se aa rahi hai ma'am acha theek hai ma'am speaker's voice बेटा आप शुरू हो गए जेनुअल फिर से आई सेड वी हैव ओनली वन पीरियड पर वीक हर बार कंप्लेन मत किया करो बाकी बच्चे बोल रहे क्लियर है और आप कह रहे हो नहीं है of lives and that's exactly the thought that has been reflected in this story wants a war hello there welcome to a brand new session of learning no one wants a war nobody likes to fight in a war if two nations can sit together to find a solution instead of fighting with each other that could save a lot of lives and that's exactly the thought that has been reflected in this story the best christmas present in the world but before i tell you more about it let me introduce you to the author so michael morpurgo is an english book author poet playwright and lyricist he is best known for writing children's novels such as war horse His work is noted for its magical storytelling, for frequent themes such as the victory or survival of an outsider, for characters' relationships with nature, and for vivid settings such as the World War One. Morpurgo became the third children's laureate from 2003 to 2005. 
So let me tell you about the story that we are about to read. It is one of Morpurgo's stories with a backdrop of the World War I. In this story, the main character describes his experiences at the war camp to his wife through a letter. Now let's read the story and understand the details. The Best Christmas Present in the World by Michael Morpurgo. I spotted it in a junk shop in Bridport, a roll-top desk. The man said it was early 19th century and oak. I had wanted one, but they were far too expensive. This one is in a bad condition. The roll top in several pieces, one leg clumsily mended, scorch marks all down one side. It was going for very little money. I thought I could restore it. It would be a risk, a challenge, but I had to have it. I paid the man and brought it back to my workroom at the back of the garage. I began work on it on Christmas Eve. I removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. It looked like water damage to me. Both fire and water had taken their toll on this desk. The last drawer was stuck fast. I tried all I could to ease it out gently. In the end, I used brute force. I struck it sharply with the side of my fist and the drawer flew open to reveal a shallow space underneath a secret drawer. There was something in there. I reached in and took out a small black tin box. Cello taped to the top of it was a piece of lined note paper and written on it in shaky handwriting, Jim's last letter received January 25, 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes. I knew as I did it that it was wrong of me to open the box, but curiosity got the better of my scruples. It usually does. Inside the box, there was an envelope. The address read, Mrs. Jim Macpherson, 12 Copper Beaches, Bridport, Dorset. I took out the letter and unfolded it. It was written in pencil and dated at the top, December 26, 1914. So in this part of the story, we can see that the author visited a junk shop in Bridport. He had spotted a roll top desk in this shop and he wanted to buy it. The shopkeeper informed him that the roll top was from the early 19th century and made of oak. Now, this kind of furniture was considered to be antique and certainly was expensive. Also, the roll top desk was not in a very good condition. One of its legs was loosely mended and there were marks of burning on the other side. What's the meaning of antique, anyone? Unique. Yes, Peter, again? Unique. No, 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 not unique. Antique. Ma'am, an old-fashioned... Yes, actually, uh, if you see antique cars, if you see some people have this uh, passion of collecting antique stuff. Antique stuff means the purani zamane ki cheeze hoti hai. Like, uh, you even see peop uh, people having cars and all of old model of uh, like around 100 years back. Jo us time chalti thi, hamare, uh, Britishers ke time, isn't it? When they had, uh, with, when they were ruling over India, maybe even before that, they have maintained that car and they still once in a while they ride in it. It's not very fast, but unko shonk hota hai wo alag dikhti hai. obviously they are unique pieces because you don't get it anymore. Hamesha jo cheez fashion mein hoti hai, wahi cheez aapko market mein milegi. It, be it clothes, be it your uh, things which you use, be it gadgets, anything. Some people even uh, decorate the antique pieces in their houses and keep it so that when you go to their house, it looks different, isn't it? Because these pieces are very rare. And usually such pieces are very, very costly also. It can be a statue also. You must have seen many movies. In that also they say that this uh, antique murti chori ho gai. Antique means it's very rare hai and you don't get it anymore. And it is very precious. Okay, so that 
is the meaning of antique means bahut bahut purani cheez so this roll desktop what they talking about is also an antique piece okay still the author really wanted to buy it and he thought that he will be able to restore it eventually he bought the roll top desk and began working on it on christmas eve so he removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers since the veneer had come off at many places the author thought it was damaged due to exposure to water the last drawer was stuck fast and wouldn't come out easily so the author removed it forcibly when the drawer flew open he could see a shallow space under it and voila there was a secret drawer and guess what there was something in there he took out a small black tin box and on top of the tin box there was a note that said jim's last letter received january 25 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes now it is certainly a bad habit to read someone's letters but curiosity got the better of the author and he opened the box inside was an envelope on curiosity got the better of the author nice phrase na curiosity got the better of the author the author is who this person who is opening the drawer and he has found a letter which was of 1915 of during world war 1 okay and he's at, uh, he knew that it is a very bad habit to read someone's letter it's actually considered a very bad uh, habit and uh, ill this one but he they saying that the curiosity got the better of the author that means can someone try ma'am usko bahut zyada matlab जानना एक जिज्ञासा भी व्हाट यू क्यूरियसनेस क्या होती है जिज्ञासा जानने की सो बट दिस पर्सन आल्सो ही वाज वेरी इनक्विजिटिव एंड ही वांटेड टू नो व्हाट इज देयर इन दिस लेटर दैट टू एन एंटीक पीस ऑब्वियसली द पीस इज वेरी ओल्ड दैट मींस दैट लेटर आल्सो इज मस्ट बी वेरी ओल्ड एंड समवन हैज रिटन अ लेटर दैट मींस इट बिलोंग्स टू समवन सो दैट क्यूरियोसिटी मेड हिम ओपन इट एंड रीड इट is my screen visible yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. on which the address read mrs jim macpherson 12 copper beaches bridport dorset the author opened the letter which was dated december 26 1914 isn't it always exciting to find a secret letter there's always a sense of mystery that surrounds a discovery such as this but don't worry i shall soon reveal the mystery I will be back with more about Jim and Connie. So this it was, and uh, we'll see another video. One second, I have to share a new tab now. the best christmas present in the world this story is about a beautiful incident that took place during the first world war the author went to a junk shop in bridport uk and bought a roll top desk the desk was in bad condition but the author thought he would be able to repair it on christmas eve he began working on it by removing the roll top and pulling out the drawers He found a secret drawer with a small black tin box hidden inside. The box had a note taped to it. The note instructed the finder to bury it with the owner of the desk when the time came. 
When the author opened the box, he found an envelope addressed to Mrs. Jim McPherson of 12 Copper Beaches, Bridport, Dorset. The enclosed letter was dated December 26, 1914. The author read the letter. It was written by Jim McPherson, a captain of the English Army, to his wife Connie. In the letter, Jim narrated a beautiful incident that took place on the battlefield on Christmas Day in 1914. The English and the German armies were in their respective trenches. Suddenly, Jim saw someone from the German side waving a white flag. He watched as a few German soldiers approached to wish the English soldiers a happy Christmas. The English soldiers replied in kind. Suddenly, several unarmed German soldiers began walking, crossing the no man's land or neutral territory, carrying the German alcohol, schnapps and sausages. Soldiers from both armies began shaking hands and wishing each other. A German officer named Hans Wolf shook hands with Jim McPherson. They introduced themselves, shared rum and cake and talked about their families and books. Then the soldiers played football while their officers cheered and clapped. When the food and drink was over, the two sides wished each other well and hoped the war would end soon. Then they returned to their trenches. McPherson ended the letter confident that the war would end soon and he and Connie would be reunited. After reading the letter, the author decided to locate Mrs. McPherson and return the letter. So he drove to Bridport, Dorset the next morning. He found that the house had been burned down and learned that Mrs. McPherson was living in a nursing home. When he reached the nursing home, the matron told him that Mrs. McPherson was in a confused state but would be happy to have a visitor on Christmas Day. When the author met Mrs. McPherson, he called her Connie and gave her the letter. Her eyes lit up when she saw the letter. In her confused state, she mistook the author for Jim and thought Jim had kept his promise and returned on Christmas Day. She said she had received the best Christmas present in the world. So here we have this. In this small one, you must have understood how this person goes finding for this uh, Connie and he goes and gives this letter of Jim and it was Christmas only. That day also was Christmas. And did you see the, what is the main highlight of this story? Can someone tell me? Ma'am, the, the letter. Backdrop, uh, yes, it is the letter. But what does the letter consist of? The main part. What has Jim yes. written to his wife? Yes. About his war. About war. And what did you see in this war? Has anyone it's seen any movie or have you read any stories of World about, War? Yes, Adit. About the World War. Yes, but what is Mami how do you find enjoys war? Enjoys the Christmas together. Yes, they enjoy Christmas together. But before enjoying, what were they doing? Those two armies of the Britishers and the Germans, what were they doing? Football match. No, no, that was a part of the enjoyment. And they were enemies of each other? Yes, exactly. They were enemies. They were in their respective trenches. Trenches hote hai, maine bataya tha. Aapko jha, hum chupte hai. Apne, apne area mein, both the side shooting is going on, killing and everything. They're keeping a watch over each other. But on Christmas Eve, something very special happens. But on 25th of uh, um, December, something very unique happened which usually doesn't happen on a war field. It was a battlefield. What did they see? They saw one of the persons having a white flag. You know the meaning of uh, uh, having a white flag? Peace. Um, peace. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. Rather. Peace. 
white is the color of peace that is why aap dekhoge ki uh, on 26 january and all this hum uh, the uh, president or the prime minister this, these people usually kisko udate hain dove ko udate hain pigeons ko udate hain kyunki white color ke hote hain it is a symbol of peace okay so this one also the when you sh- when you see a white uh, flag it is means that hum log sulha ke liye taiyar hain we don't want any bloodshed now because it was the fe- main festival and it is a festival of both the sides what did ha- what did they do both of them the armies came together and they tried to uh, uh, know each other and they spoke about their families and everything and whatever eatables they had whatever drinks they had they shared everything each and every side had their own this one they came together and ate and enjoyed danced together and later on they even played a friendly football match so it's such a nice scene ki wahi log jo thodi der pehle pichle din lad rahe the just because obviously they have got orders from their respective governments and the leaders that we have to fight but is it so important to fight when in the very next day your friends and you can enjoy together so what is what should be the uh, main thing in life fighting just for the prestige of the country or any anything and everything can be won over by love isn't it so it's such a beautiful message that is being given in the story later on jim also dies because he has to do his line of duty he has to do the duty as what he has been sent there for and obviously in the war even he died later on but this was the letter he wrote to his wife ki aise hua tha 25th december ko this beautiful incident he explains in that letter to his wife and the author gets hold of this letter he then goes and he thinks chahe ye itni purani letter hai main uski wife ko zarur dunga ja ke he goes to this place he finds her house burned down and he then he gets to know that she is in a nursing home he goes and meets her and gives her the letter so that is why the chapter's name is the best christmas gift okay it's a nice story na no doubt yes devina मैम वो जो लेटर था वो उसकी वाइफ को पहले मिला था या फिर वो मिसप्लेस हो गया था मिसप्लेस हो गया आफ्टर सो मेनी इयर्स शी डजंट नो दैट हर हस्बैंड इज नो मोर वो ऑब्वियसली शी इज गॉन सो ओल्ड एंड शी इज लॉस्ट हर मेंटल स्टेबिलिटी हां व्हाट आर दे मैम शी लॉस्ट हिज मेमोरी यस शी इज लॉस्ट हर मेमोरी एंड इन द एंड आई थिंक शी uh misunderstands this person who has come as jim yes ma'am ha wo galti se usko sochti hai ki mera jim wapas aa gaya hai see you should actually understand what these people go through we are very lucky that we are uh, sitting over here in the mid of i think uh, india and enjoying everything you should ask go through and if you happen to meet such families who have lost their dear ones those people who are at the border and they are serving the nation aap kabhi sochte ho hum log roz apne mummy papa se milte hain roz apne family se milte hain unke beech mein hain kuch bhi hota hai hum gussa ho jate hain kuch bhi but these people they so far away they get holidays very less holidays they get and kabhi kabhi aisa bhi hota hai ki jab wo holiday ke liye aate hain like around after 6 months or even 1 year sometimes even 2 years ke baad wo apni family ke paas aate hain border se quality time spend karne ke liye aur aate hi unki wahan se order aa jata hai chutti cancel it happens most of you have seen the movie border also yes isn't right. it in that also ye bhi ye bataya tha ya hai na to ye hota hai beta wo sirf movie ka nahi hai ye hota hai practical life mein hota hai inke and that tense situation they said they what, you get energy and you get positiveness from your family and those people are away from your fam- their families okay so what happens is these even the ladies have stress because they are away from their husbands so this lady also she did not know that her husband is no more maybe it is possible the in between the story we don't know that how she uh, lost her memory 
okay she is lost in that ages back she's still in that uh, era only of world war that my husband is gone uh, in the war and he will come back and we will then enjoy it together so she is still in that phase rather time has gone by and so many years have passed and she doesn't even she's not bothered so this is the type of thing that happens rather we should think that is it so necessary to have war kyun kisi ki there there's one line also in the chapter that why do we have their people lose so much their widows their children who are orphaned to kya ye itna zaruri hai if you just take out and you people are in aid then you have time also nowadays you please go through the world war stories ki kyun hui thi world war और एक पर्टिकुलर लीडर को दूसरे लीडर को नीचे गिराना था या टेक ओवर करना था वो कंट्री जस्ट टू एक्सपैंड लैंड कंट्री को और एक्सपैंड करने क्यों करना है क्या मिलता है उससे इन द एंड यू गोइंग टू लीव एवरीथिंग ओवर हियर एंड गो ना कुछ ऊपर तो नहीं लेके जाएंगे हम सो बाय मैंने सुना था कि जो एक कंट्री है उसने बॉर्डर पे किसी को नहीं रखा उसके पूरे देश की हेल्थ पे ध्यान दिया गुड गुड सो एक्चुअली शुड पास ऑन इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरीज एंड एवरीथिंग दिस इज आल्सो वेरी नाइस एंड ए बिग क्वेश्चन मार्क ऑन आवर सोसाइटी दैट व्हाई व्हाई डू वी नीड वॉल्स दैट वन दैट फ्यू आवर्स व्हेन ऑल द सोल्जर्स लेफ्ट भूल गए थे कि हम दुश्मन हैं हम जानी दुश्मन हैं we both belong to different countries totally different borders wo log bhi ek sath aaye aur usi halat mein unhi kapdon mein enjoy kiya masti mari wo kuch ghante and till again in the morning they they did their duty of fighting so which was better wo log jo pura din fight karte wo bhi bhool ke itna enjoy kiya unhone aapas mein apne dushmanon ke sath so you should actually see the beautiful uh, moral of this story okay uh hardly few minutes are left i think anyone ready for question answers yes ma'am okay yes, shubhra just yes ma'am yes okay uh, first two questions i'm giving to shubhra okay read better is my the screen visible ma'am yes, yes ma'am is visible what is visible youtube the best no 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 okay i'm changing it one second who had written the letter to whom and when the letter was written by mr jim mac person a british soldier the letter was written to his wife cody mac person and was written on december 26 1914 hmm good why was the letter written what was the wonderful what was the wonderful thing that had happened the letter was to describe something wonderful that had happened a day before it it seemed like the germans and the british were going to fight but they were bringing a white flag and ended up celebrating christmas together yes good and um, third and fourth who would like to attempt adeep yes ma'am you want you uh, do you want to try the third and fourth one or anyone else rishika renuka i'm renuka renuka okay renuka read the third one. what job did hans wolf and jim macpherson have when they were not soldiers hans wolf played the cello in the orchestra when he was not a soldier jim macpherson was a teacher in dorset when not a soldier okay next question 4 had hans wolf ever been to dorset why why did he say he knew it No, Hans Wolf had never been to Dorset. He had been reading English books. Ha Hardy was his fav favorite author. 
Hardy's novel Far From the Madding Crowd was his favorite book. This book described Dorset, so Hans Wood said he knew Dorset well. Okay, good. And fifth one also you want to try? Okay, ma'am. Macpherson never came back from the war. His wife Connie knew about his death. That 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 was why she kept the letter in a tin box. She she wrote on the top of the box that it was Jim's last letter. Yes. The answer is okay. Right. And now well, next one. Yes. I'm nothing. Okay. Anyone else? Raghav Tiwari, Zenwell. Zenwell, you tell us your answers. Param. Okay, Adib. Okay, Adib. Next one. These questions. Comprehension. Yes, ma'am. Why did the author go to the Bridport? Answer. The author went to Bridport to meet Miss Jim Max, uh, Miss Jim Macpherson, and deliver to her Jim's letter. Hmm. Second. Uh, second question: How old was the Miss Jim Macpherson now? Where was she? Answer: uh, Ma uh, Jim Mac uh, Miss Jim Macpherson was of one hundred one years old. She was in a nursing home. Yes. Good. One hundred and one. It's one hundred and three or one hundred and one. I'm one hundred and one. Okay. Okay. You want to do the next one also? Or any yes, of the new admissions? Uh -huh. Yes, Adi. Yes, ma'am. Question one: Who did Connie Macpherson think her visitor was? Answer: Connie thought that uh, the visitor was her own husband, Jim Macpherson. Second question. Which sentence in the text shows that the visitor did not try to hide his identity? Uh, the sentence is: "You told me you had come home by Christmas, dearest," she said. And uh, her uh, and here you are, the best Christmas present in the world. Come closer, Jim dear. Sit down. Hmm. That the visitor did not hide his identity. Okay. Ma'am, may I? Yes, Peter. Next one. For how long do you think Con Connie had kept Jim's letter? Give reasons for your answer. Connie had kept Jim's letter for a long time. She had received it on January twenty-five, nineteen fifteen. Jim had written it on December twenty-six, nineteen fourteen. At that time, Jim Jim was an officer, a captain in the English army. A captain in the in the army is all, always a young man it means that jim's wife connie must have also been young in the story she is 101 it means the letter was about 7 to 75 years old there are okay. hints also hmm yes beta continue yes renuka ma'am ma'am the answer was this much only okay Next, who is going to try? We have lots of questions. Ma'am Shubhra. Shubhra, okay, Shubhra. Why do Why do you think the desk had been sold, and when? The desk must have been sold when Mr. Coney's house house has burned. Hmm. Okay. Why do you think the desk was stolen? Then, okay. The table had been damaged by the fire as well as what? Okay, fine. Next one also you want to try, Shubhra? Yes, sir. Since both of them hated war, it was obvious for them to think of good ways like games and sports for resolve resolving conflicts. So I agree with them. Okay. That uh, is games and sports a good way of resolving conflicts. 
Yes, and you also see this many times in um, cricket matches and all also. We should not bring our personal feelings of our country. It is good to be a patriot, a nationalist, but we usually get into the mood, no, Pakistan ke saath match hai, to aise hona chahiye, aise. that should not be. The game is a game. And aap dekho, kai bar hum log, when IPL and all, you can see, for example, you have different uh, players of from uh, different countries, rather, players from different countries come together. Previously, we had even um, um, players from Pakistan and all. In that, what happens? You mood in that mood, you team spirit. You forget that we are from this country or that country. You are just a team. Okay, you are not belonging to a particular country. Same is here. So if games and sports is a very nice way of bringing people together. If obviously you, you take it take it uh, sportingly. Okay.